Let's take a look into Tesla. Jenny Horn hosted Next Gen with me as uh, the stock is getting hammered. Um, and it was pretty immediate last night. Like as soon as the number came out, the market said, mm -mm. and then Elon started talking and we went down even more. And okay, I listened to the call. I think that that makes sense because we, I think you said this even yesterday, there was a major lack of catalyst. So you have the Robotax event pushed back two months, which is sort of what we expected. But I think again, there was like these broad strokes of promises from Elon Musk when you're failing to deliver on like what you initially promised for this year as far as deliveries and production. Now you're failing to deliver on these Robotaxes come like a few weeks. I think you can't be making these claims that you're gonna solve autonomy and maybe, maybe he will, sure. But he basically said that like, this they will be solving it, Tommy. He doubled down on those that commitment on their earnings call and then was saying something like, if you don't believe in this, just like don't hold Tesla stock, which I mean, I, I get like with the last earnings call, we were saying we were so frustrated that people get so caught up in like the, the mundane of who Elon Musk is. But I was listening last night, also myself a little bit frustrated. Like, why aren't you like giving more concrete promises after being a bit frankly disappointing this year. I mean, look at your stock. I know we're now actually only down about a percent on this year and we've risen almost 24 and a half percent this month, but this is a crazy U-turn, you know, it is. If you look at actually the last three years, we're pretty much almost exactly at levels where we were three years ago. So mm. if I were Elon Musk, I'd be trying to enthuse, not frustrate. Here's what's so interesting, though, that I kind of like do. This is one of the things I do like about him, though, mm. is that like he's it's you know, he, he kind of does a show like me. I don't really use prompter much. <laughs> I don't really write much. I just go and talk. He's authentic. Right. Yeah. Mm. And so when he says uh, it'll be uh, this year and uh, if not, maybe next year, then like, <laughs> OK, that's like terrible for the stock. But it just seems like that's the situation. Like he over promised, under delivered. That's basically what he said. And he doesn't really care if the stock goes down. So, I mean, he kind of sabotaged it. I guess and you, that's, I think, also like a, a huge component of like why people invest with him is because they say like, at least we know that we're like, getting not like a political, like very PR friendly statement. We're getting the honest to God truth. And that, that's yeah. that he does think eventually they'll be able to solve autonomy. And I also think like his whole claim about like making sure that we're not progressing AI too quickly is something he might, I, I think that's a good point after yeah. hello. I mean, like look at the cyber. I mean, I know we're not calling it cybersecurity, but like the massive, massive upheaval of last week with CrowdStrike. I think Elon Musk has some good points. And I've always said, RoboTaxi FSD, amazing. We're just not there yet because right. there's still a human element on the road that then makes FSD a lot harder to roll out. And then it's like we go from the August expectation for their big unveil, then to October, and then it seems like maybe, like from the language last night, it could even stretch into like next year. Uh, all right, but the other thing too is just the margins got just destroyed. So if you're gonna be a car company and not a robo company yet, the car numbers were pretty rough. They were. And so that's where I feel like, again, like if you can't excited about the, the future looking events for autonomy, AI, FSD, robo taxis, and you've got to at least be saying that, hey, we're strong. They still dominate like, the U.S. market as far as their EV reach by a good amount. But overseas, I mean, like all we hear about is discounting. And again, I was saying like a week ago, I feel like we've discounted the fact that this name margin pressures were the biggest concern like several quarters ago. We've yeah. just forgotten about that, but nothing's changed. Right. Still it got really price adjustments. Totally got a lot worse. So, I mean, it's a good point because they did go through a period where it was like a pretty reliable uh, financial period there. And then now it's kind of gone the other way with all of the cuts. Uh, and that's, I mean, killing the margins have dropped off in a big, big way. So it's really good that they had the energy storage and the credits and stuff, because that's really kind of the silver lining in this. Uh, that seems like the most positive thing that people are excited about the fact that they can just make money off the power, but also so small, relatively speaking, and the exactly. history of the ramp of the energy business, I think is going to be a really compelling argument. All we talk about is the grid and the reformation of the grid now with AI, but you have to be delivering on cars. I mean, you tell me you have a market cap right now. It's bigger than like Ford, GM and Rivian and Lucid all combined. You have to be telling me that, that you're car situation on deliveries is going well and it's not. It's a good point. Yeah. Uh, Ford GM now looking uh, pretty good again relative to Tesla because they had fallen behind. GM did have some selling yesterday though. True. But still. On the one year though you're still better off in Ford and because it was uh, Ford was like uh, it was a one year move that was like slightly negative for Ford compared to Tesla which still was negative on the 52 weeks coming into this. But GM's up quite a bit so now it's like GM number one investment for the last year. Ford number two and Tesla number three at this point. So right. and GM was one of the worst performing last year's, which just goes to show like and Tesla was one of How, the best. Because Tesla, yeah. Stark reversal and trend. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jenny. Appreciate that. Tesla getting hit here. Okay.